Well, I shared with my team this morning uh, how blessed I feel I was to um, participate in two leadership talks that Joanne Johnson needed to hear uh, last Thursday and Friday. And I'm going to end with Beyond the Sea with Navy Bob. Wow. I mean, this guy carried the nuclear codes for uh, President Bush, 43, and, uh, and all kinds of accolades. And a shout out to Kathy Sagar, Discovery School of Innovation, private school here. Who starts a school? My friend Kathy Sagar does. And um, he had a talk with the kids, the students, as well as uh, parents and guests. And I was very, very honored to be in the audience. So that was last Thursday, and I'll get to that last. Friday, Leadership Montgomery County. Very thankful also to be invited. Uh, apparently, lots of people out there knew that I needed this. And uh, the theme was We Not Me. We Not Me. And we heard from uh, Coach Grant Cooper at Montgomery High School football coach, Andre Ware, first black quarterback Heisman Trophy winner. Uh, and I didn't realize he played at University of Houston. The NCAA records, plural, that stand today based on uh, what that team accomplished. And so I just wanted to share some of this because I shared it with my team this morning. First, reflect on what was the best team that you were a part of and why. And, you know, I was thinking about like, wow, I've had great, I mean, I mean great mentors that have given me wonderful opportunities. And I think, you know, what did it look like? They provided hope, they provided vision, they um, offered inspiration. They never forgot where they came from. Um, the word elevate came up numerous times, and uh, that's true. I think a leader knows how, uh, sets the tone, builds the culture that uh, the team players are all about elevating the other, and that starts with leadership. And I could indict myself uh, a number of times of where uh, I'm not following the, the mentors, those great mentors, uh, the way that maybe I want to or should. So, um, no BCD, I love this. No blaming, no complaining, and no defending. And Andre Ware actually built on this. He's not the one that came up, that was Coach Cooper. Um, but Andre Ware was listening to his talk and he said, you know, yeah, so true. So he's the quarterback. And if he threw it perfectly and it was dropped, it was like, hey man, on the sideline, I'm going to do it better next time. Meaning he could have blamed the receiver, but he took responsibility. And I love that so much. Great things come from conflict. Um, I've called it healthy confrontation, but you know, and that's in a work family. That's what we have sometimes. Productive disagreements, productive disagreements. Don't hire talented characters, hire talent with character. Love that. Um, Tom Landry, a leader makes you do what you don't want to do. Okay, so, uh, you know, to, we talked about this as a team a couple weeks ago. To enjoy the green time, the rewards, you've got to do the red time. And um, it's not what you preach, it's what you tolerate. So, anyway, I thought these were great nuggets that I just wanted to share. Uh, Navy Bob, I'll end this leadership thing with this. He said, you lead with love. Leading with love is what this book is about. You think of the military and how tough and strong, how blessed we are to live in the country that we do with the mightiest. And, um, but that power of leadership really comes from the heart of leading with love and trust. I hope you've enjoyed this.